So it's been a couple of days since I've been using the Mindful phone and I can tell you that it is an excellent device. I really like it for the functionality and it does what it says. It's a very good experience for talking text and a camera and music and that's about it. Uh, so if you're looking for something very simple, that is, this is a good phone to consider. Now, let me get my main critique out of the way as we continue in this review and that is for navigation. Everything has to be done through the touchscreen and I don't necessarily like that. Even on a phone that is pretty much equally large, like the Xiaomi Chin F22 Pro, you have a D-pad and you can navigate with this. With the Mindful phone, you are forced to use the touchscreen, which, you know, it's not amazing. It's definitely large and it does get the job done, but I would have preferred at least one or two ways to get through navigation. That is my main critique. And besides that, it's been working really great. T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, uh, none of them have been giving me issues. It's a pretty basic device. It's running a very customized version of Android, essentially, from what I can tell. Uh, but most of the apps have been modified and they don't have that specific kind of Android vibe, except, you know, for the settings. So, for example, here uh, you can tell a couple things do feel like Android, uh, but you can use the keypad for texting, which is a welcome addition i can show you a little bit about that in just a second so let's go to messaging uh so right here if i want to compose a text i can get to you know hello and then my name is yada 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 so uh the problem is the backspace key is not even here and the keypad is here on the touchscreen, which is kind of not super intuitive, especially when you're typing fast. Uh, you also have the ability to install many different keyboards, which I, I think is actually a good thing. So you have English, you have um, German, Hebrew. Uh, I believe you had to install the Hebrew one in order to get the T9 dictionary uh, installed. Uh, but besides that, you know, it works as expected. You have symbols, you have emojis. Um, and you know, you kind of have the ability to use the keyboard as with any other device, which it's a good thing. Again, it's a very but buttery smooth It's very nice. Uh, it works very well. Um, not a lot of lag, you know, and it kind of like works very nicely. It has notes, it has a music player you can showcase a little bit of that. Um, and essentially it will show your tunes, uh, if you load them. Uh, you also have the ability to get your contacts and a lot of extensible options in there like email and addresses and stuff like that. This doesn't have maps, so that's not necessarily helpful for that. Uh, the camera is actually decent, so it will get the job done for uh, getting images and getting them essentially sent over MMS, which group text messages are very well handled very nicely. So if you're looking for a device that has a camera and only calls and text, then this may be an option. I can definitely see the market for this device, especially for those of you who want a very simple device and not having to uh, mess around with it or, you know, filter it or whatever. It's an excellent device for those purposes. So in my opinion, it's a good device. If you're looking for something super simple, it has nothing but calls, text, camera, and that's about it. Uh, and music, of course, like if you want to listen to it, it competes with the Sunbeam, I would say the Sunbeam Daisy or the Dandelion, which the Dandelion only has talk, which if you want something like that, you can go with the Mindset. If you want talk and text like the Daisy has, you will go with the Mindful. Uh, and of course, the Orchid has uh, more apps, so there is no comparison in here for that. Um, I like the apps, you know, they're kind of nice to use. They're pretty easy. Like, again, they're running Android, so uh, in the background. So, you know, it's going to be a reliable experience. I never had issues with text messages. Battery life has actually been really good. I think I'm at, let's see, 47%. And that is over a couple of days now. So, you know, because the device is not doing a lot of things and you're not doing a lot of things with it, then I think it does really great in the battery life department. So it's going to be a very helpful calculator right here. Um, it's again, a little bit custom. It's not again, the, the best. Uh, you can also close apps. If you feel like the phone is getting bogged down, you can clear them all right there. Um, you cannot sideload any applications uh, into the device. So again, it's just very basic. Very good device, very nice first attempt, I would say, um, for the device. It feels very premium in the hand. Um, 
Again, the fingerprints, it's a little bit fingerprinty, but it's not that bad. Honestly, after a while, it doesn't, it does, you don't feel it, but the, the weight and the feel of the device is actually very good in my opinion, because, um, you spent $250 and you feel like you got more like, you know, than for example, when you buy, uh, I guess the Sunbeam is 195 and that's a little bit more plasticky, but of course there's features and things that you have to get. Uh, this one right here, the Xiaomi, it feels really nice, but this one's again, like 195. So it feels like, you know, you pay $250, it feels pretty good. The buttons are tactile. It, it, it doesn't feel pla super plasticky. Of course, there's some plastic components, um, but I like it. I like it. It's a good first attempt and I hope they continue making phones and they continue looking at other markets, maybe outside of the kosher market if possible. Um, but it's a good device for v much simplicity. And if you want to get the one that is only talk, you can also find it in the link below. If you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices that I have reviewed, make sure to put them in the comments below and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.